represents Russia, Irina Slutskaya. So it comes down to this, here at the Grand Prix Final, the last major international event prior to the Olympics in Salt Lake City. Michelle Kwan in the lead right now, Sarah Hughes in second, and then Maria Butirskaya. But here is the 22-year-old from Moscow, Irina Slutskaya, four-time European champion, first Russian woman ever to win that title, and she has the lead through two rounds. And this is a good choice of music for her. It takes her away from being romantic and seductive and keeps her in the very aggressive music. And I think the costume is very flattering for her. It really is the character of the music and gives her a nice body line. But she loves to compete against Michelle because she feels Michelle really does push her. And they push each other. She's opening with a triple Lutz. Uh, and a double turn between uh, the loop part of that uh, jump. That sort of diminishes the value of that. So it won't be counted as a combination. And now here's her attempt at this triple-triple combination. Triple sow cow, triple loop, double, double loop. loop. same kind of a telegraphed entrance going into this jump. A double loop, a double Lutz, not a triple Lutz. Uh, that's not going to stand her in good stead. Now watch these back three turns, difficult entrance into this triple loop. Beautiful. on so much as the expression. Not a lot of pointing of the toes. A lot of flailing of the arms that don't fit to the rest of her body almost as if they were sewn on. That could use big improvement. Ah, and she fell out of that one as well, which is just, oh, and another almost, aha. Uh -huh. Not good, not good. Viral positions. They're the just extension is just not there. That's rather an ugly move too. Somebody should just tell her to stretch out. Final jump is triple toe. Final combination spin. First of all, a camel. Look at the traveling over the eyes. Sit spin, very weak. Lay back into this catch foot position. Very sloppy skate. She beat Michelle three of the last four, but uh, I don't know about this. But you know, she had nice fire right at the end. That's why this Tosca performance 
the role of Tosk is so good for when she does get into it in those very fleeting moments. She had a nice fire at the end, tearing her hair and pulling her heart out. But she only landed four triple jumps in the program. And had a number of mistakes. Michelle Kwan relaxing backstage with a young fan of future world champion, perhaps. Who won the gold? We'll come back to find out. Skaya in the kiss and cry area. She does have the advantage of having had the lead through two rounds. Remember that. Now in this combination, first look at the triple Lutz and then what, what happens in between. Right here, she opens up. She can't do it. She does two extra turns before the double uh, loop at the end. And that that's a no-no in a combination. But watch this. Look at those turns into that loop. That's very hard entrance. And yet she does an absolutely beautiful uh, triple loop at the end of it. And at this one, watch this turn, the high kick of the foot, the landing, and oops, she leans over, doesn't check it, doesn't keep her back up, and bumps out. And the same in this one, an insecure edge. Mars Not good. Her coach... Since she was six years old, Jana Grimova, and there's Michelle Kwan still relaxing five, with her friend. Five, eight, five, the first six, set now five, eight, on the way. Five, eight, five, six, five, six, five, six up to five, eight. Range. Well, th those marks are very high, and I think it's the fact that five, it has put her... Uh, five, eight, five, Se five, second set all important here, Dick. Yeah. Presentation marks five, five seven to five, five nine. nine. Look at that. A lot of First five place. nines. Again, Maybe. Bulgaria, uh, Germany, and the Ukraine. Mm. So a four three split, but the split goes you're, you're one 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 one, results. and the rest are threes. The other three judges put her in third place. She got her first Christmas present, I think, right here. <laughs> Well, there's just no, they're just no comparing the quality of skating. One has great spring in her jumps and some wonderful energy, but uh, the quality of skating is not yet there. Timothy Gable, a kiss and a hug for Michelle Kwan, but she'll have to settle for the silver medal. Let's go down to Peter Carruthers. I'm so happy. I go to land. I'm not die. I'm already die, but not die. Well, you won your third Grand Prix final. Uh, coming into this competition, it was difficult with three rounds. How did you work through it? Uh, you know, it's Grand Prix final. It's always difficult because this is like a show, you know, for audience and for TV. But for us, it's hard work, more harder than uh, Europeans and worlds. You had some trouble on the jumps. What was going on there? Oh, well, I'm just, I think I'm tired. I will, I skied yesterday, was so emotional, you know, and this is so hard. And yeah, I have a couple mistakes here, but you know, I was ready. I was so nice ready, but I think it's emotional, you know. Well, congratulations going into the Olympic Games. A big win for you. Thank you so much. All right, Peter, thank you. So yeah, the final big matchup before the Olympics, Lutskaya wins it, but she wasn't impressive in this final free skate. Michelle Kwan settles for the silver medal. Sarah Hughes able to edge out Maria Butirskaya for the bronze medal. Back with some final thoughts in a moment. Back now with a look at our Smart Ones Smart Move replay. And it's the entrance to this that makes it so difficult. These turning threes that she goes into before she lifts off into the jump. Right here. Now watch. Beautiful entrance. Beautiful exit. And Slutskaya able to edge out Kwan for the goal. But Michelle Kwan is standing by with Peter Carruthers right now. Peter? Well, Michelle, you tried to use some strategy. You missed your triple-triple combination. So what happened at the end of the program? I missed my triple-triple. I did triple-toe, double-toe. And so I decided to add another triple-toe at the very end. And I guess that was a mistake and a silly one, too. Now, you don't have a coach. So what is your training tool? Your dad tells me you look at tapes to correct technical flaws in your jumps. I look at tapes, and I also analyze, you know, how I feel. It's always nice to bounce things back with my dad. I mean, he's not my coach, but he's always there to support me. Yeah. Well, everything feels solid in your performance so far, though, leading up to the Olympics? I felt settled out there um, tonight, and, you know, I haven't felt like that in a long time. So it was just good, a very good feeling, and it's, it's nice leading up to nationals. A big season coming up, national championships, then hopefully Olympics. Right now, we'll go back to Terry Gannon. All right, Peter, thank you. 